Never shoot pool with a physicist. I've learned plenty of things throughout the years, but that's the most important. Never shoot pool with a physicist. Kind of put me off the game after that. If you must get your physics-related gaming on, do it in single player, preferably with a puzzle game that expands your mind while you... Well, while you feed a little monster candy. I suppose that's the go-to anytime there's things falling and ropes being cut. But Obulus has graduated from phones and now takes the form of an actual PC release, bringing... Well, there are chains here, so chain cutting to a less mobile, more cerebral audience. Who may or may not be terrified by little alien monster things disregarding their health and well-being to gorge on candy, no matter how cute said alien monster thing may be. Your goal, get the colored balls into the matching, um, vessels. They might be urns, they might be jars, they might be plants. To this end, your only tools are the ability to cut chains and posts, and the potential energy contained within these spheres as determined by the level's design. It'll take forethought, it'll take analysis, it'll probably take several trial runs to best understand a particular sphere's behavior. And it'll take split-second timing, as demonstrated by me trying to land this shot on just the right millimeter of the target ball. It's like billiards with gravity, and cannons and slingshots, and most importantly, for those trying to arc a ball around a platform, the law of conservation of momentum. But with the transition from smartphone app to full-fledged PC release, there's a rather pronounced increase in real estate. Roomier screen means more complex levels as balls travel far and wide to make it to their destination, aided by moving platforms and the like. Then, of course, there might just be hidden passages in the shadows, which feels kind of unfair until you figure them all out. But to Obulus's credit, the game is presented with enough fantastic scenery to... well, to be completely disregarded because you're focusing on the physics of it all. When you break it down, this is all just math and action, no matter how gorgeous that waterfall effect is. And you'll be enjoying it for quite a while as the game includes 151 puzzles of wildly varying difficulty, separated into three maps to be traversed at your leisure. There are even hidden levels to unlock by collecting the items in the Limbo-esque Inner Sanctum stages in case you wanted even more puzzles in your puzzles. I don't know, maybe I've just got a soft spot for games that feature 151 of anything, but I get the feeling I'm going to be sitting awake at 3 a.m. sometime this week, staring down a series of spherical interactions, cursing at the top of my lungs, and scaring the hell out of my roommate. So, anyone want to buy a pool cue? Barely used. 